Right, I'm out here in the garage and I got another engine project. This is a three valve 4.6 that is going to go in a 2007 GT, something like that. I'm not sure if it's a 07 or 06. Could be an 05, but this is a Texit block, so I'm going to have to do some modifications to it because we are going to want to put a blower on this thing. I did build this short block, but before I put the heads on here, I wanted to take the opportunity to, to talk about putting the engine in a safe position and really kind of go into detail so you, so you can see what that means. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at this short block. So this is a Texid block. Like I said, it still has the bungs on it, so that's probably what I'm going to have to modify uh, to get the supercharger to sit down on there. It does have manly pistons that are uh, fly cut for valve reliefs. The compression ratio, I believe we upped this up a little bit to about nine and a half to one, somewhere in there. Nothing too crazy. It does have uh, manly rods and it does have a Kellogg crank in there from a 99, I'm sorry, from a 96 to 01 Cobra. All right, so I wanted to talk about putting the engine in safe position in order to do that. Uh, I made a cool little graphic like this. I don't have a whiteboard, uh, but I did make a little graphic like that, and I will put this down in the description for the Google Docs if you want to download this. Uh, but let's take a closer look at this. All right, so what we got here is to find the safe position, two things are needed. We need to know the firing order, and we need to know where top dead center is. And I drew this little graphic over here, and I'll get to that in a second uh, to show kind of where the firing order happens. But on a 4.6, we've got a firing order of 13726548. And if we stack those on top of each other, basically put uh, the first four on top of the second four, those are going to be the companion cylinders. So one and six, three and five, seven and four, two and eight. And so if we come over here, here is our keyway on our crankshaft. When our keyway is in this position, and I'll show you on the engine in a second, when the keyway is in this position, number one is at top dead center, and its companion cylinder, number six, is at top dead center. Now if we rotate the crankshaft 90 degrees, number three is going to be at top dead center, because that's the one, next one that's going to fire. And number five is also going to be at top dead center, which is its companion cylinder. But this one's not going to be at the top of the power stroke. It's going to be at the top of the intake stroke. So they're going to be both at top dead center, but in different cycles of the four cycle operation. And if we keep going, we see seven and four are going to be at top dead center uh, when, when uh, number one is at bottom dead center. And then if we keep going around, we got two and eight over here. So if the crankshaft is in, if the crankshaft keyway is in this position, it's not safe. If it's in this position, it's not safe. And if it's in that position or that position, it's not safe. And the reason is because you have at least two pistons where you're gonna have you're gonna have exactly two pistons at top dead center. So what you want to do is you want to get the keyway in between when those pistons are at top dead center. So either straight up and down, straight down, straight left, or straight right. And I'll show you what all this means on the engine. So let's move over to the engine and take a look at that. All right, so let's rotate this engine around a couple of times so you can see what I'm talking about. Right now, the keyway is up at about the 1030 position. You can see number one and number six are at top dead center. So now I'm going to rotate this around uh, to uh, 90 degrees and we'll see that the next set of companion cylinders will be at top dead center. So I'm just going to rotate this 90 degrees. And now you can see that uh, number three and number five are at top dead center. And now I'll rotate another 90 degrees. And now you can see that Number four and number seven are at top dead center. And now if I rotate it one more 90 degrees, now we got, well, almost went a little too far on that one. So now the keyway should be down and to the left, which it is down and to the left. And we got number two and number eight at top dead center. So now I'm gonna rotate it until the keyway is back to uh, about the 1030 position. We got one and six at top dead center. This is also why when you do your cam degree, you do it on one and six at the same time because they're both uh, at top dead center at the same time. 
All right, so now let's check out our safe positions on this thing. According to my document here, uh, safe position should be straight up and down. Uh, let's see what that looks like. So here's the keyway here. We'll point that pretty much straight up and down. And you can see that uh, these two pistons are about an inch down. And these two pistons, one and three, are about an inch down. Which you're not going to open a valve that far, not likely, and, and hit the top of the piston. Which means that it's in a safe position. So let's keep rotating. Let's go straight to the right. And there we have, I might have went a little too far on that one. Or not enough. So that's straight to the right, and you can see, same thing, we got four pistons at least an inch down. And if we keep going around, we put that keyway straight down. These are an inch down, those two are an inch down. And if we go straight to the left, this is also a safe position where these are all an inch down. Uh, let, me take a, let me take you around so you can see it a little bit closer how that looks. I prefer to go with my keyway straight up and down. Uh, it's just easier for me from the 1030 position to the straight up and down position. And here's what that looks like. You got number uh, five and six down an inch. And then over on this side, you got one and three down one inch. So uh, that's uh, basically how you get an engine into a safe position and, and these fundamentals will work with pretty much any engine as long as you can figure out those two things what's the firing order with the firing order you can figure out what the companion cylinders are uh, and if you know where top dead center is you know that number one and whatever its companion cylinder is also a top dead center and then if it's a v8 you know that every 90 degrees one of the pistons is going to be firing. One of the cylinders is going to be firing because it has to get through all eight of them in 720 degrees. So basically two rotations. So let me know if you have any questions. Uh, like I said, up, I'll, I'll hang this down below for Google Docs if you want to take a look at it, if you want to have it on hand or whatever so you, you don't forget. But yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and like and all that stuff for uh, more content. Thank you.